Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We got a rush here because we are live already. We're in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, looking at the last verses of chapter 12. Beginning chapter 13 is kind of like the closing of the book, a little bit of final advice, have some personal greetings. So in a, in a sense, this is the close of the, the theme of the book. Uh, this is him going to sum up everything. And remember, the, th the thing that he's been talking about is the better covenant. We've got a new covenant. We've got a new priest or a new high priest. And all of these new are better. And that's compared to the old covenant, which would be the Mosaic covenant that gave them a, the Mosaic covenant from Mount Sinai, the high priesthood from the family of Levi and the family of Aaron. Uh, there's a new sacrifice, which is a better sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice of animals repeated over and over again. It's the sacrifice of the Son of God who became man to pay for the sins of the world, of all mankind. There is a new blood. Uh, the old blood was speaking of, it's going to be compared today to the blood of Abel, which simply called for uh, vengeance or judgment. It was a, a murder of Abel, and it just announced judgment on for that. This blood is going to put an end to judgment because all judgment will come through this blood. So we got a new covenant, which is a better covenant, better high priest, better sacrifice, better blood, and new promises. Or we can say again, better promises. So the whole theme of this book, as we know from 63 AD, uh, around that time, being written to the Jews who were believers, some had rejected Christ and had stayed in the old covenant. Some had believed in Christ and were growing in Christ. 